we're doing the mark out today for the event tech live show uh, this week at excel london uh, so there's a cad diagram shows where all the booths are all the different utilities electricity rigging what have you and that cad diagram has been sent to the lionel robots and they're putting uh, marks for that on the floor so we've done we've done a lot of shows uh, in the US and Germany. I mean, more than a million square meters gross of exhibitions. So, uh, but this is our first show in the UK. Uh, we're really excited to be here. With previous technologies, uh, I guess you have the CAD plan printed out. Uh, a whole lot of guys with tape measures and putting that together. The robot is you know, superior in a lot of ways, uh, but you know, obviously accuracy is really important. Speed is another one. The robot is a lot, lot faster uh, than the manual markers. Obviously in terms of flexibility, in terms of when it can work. So the robot will can work at night, it can work unsupervised at night. And so therefore when you have back-to-back -back shows or things like that, it can really compress the, the time taken to set up. It's also really good for sustainability. And I think that's really important in the sense that, you know, one use carpet, it's a huge issue in the industry. I think there's a real push in the UK exhibition industry to remove one use carpet. Um, robot is terrific for that in the sense that we, we don't need carpet in the corridors. Uh, if you use the robot to do the layout, so this is a huge benefit. Uh, there are other benefits uh, with respect to, to sort of carbon emissions and what have you. you. You fly in 40, 50 workers to do this or drive them in or what have you. There's a lot of emissions in that in terms of time. As a carbon neutral venue, we take sustainability very seriously and testing new technologies like Lionel are fundamental to reducing our venue's carbon footprint and also for our events. We're moving to a rental model where the clients will, will rent the robots and operate them themselves. And the first place we're coming is, uh, is London, and we're really happy to be here.